Hey guys, so today we're gonna paint the Kia rear bumper. Started taping everything off. I sanded it down already. And I'm using this plastic that I bought from Dollar Tree in the dollar store. It's like nine feet by twelve. I cut it with the rest. It should be more than enough to to cover whatever that you're gonna cover or just buy two or three more. So I'm gonna continue covering it and I'll get back in a minute. Okay guys, so we got everything already covered. I wiped the bumper off and um, I'm gonna start spraying it with the front bumper. I'm not gonna tape nothing off or cover anything because I could easily remove it. So uh, the front bumper kind of is doing all right. It's just the, right here, it's kind of white, so it needs more paint. Everything else seems to be matching okay. Couple more passes. Hey guys, so we're gonna start um, painting. This is the paint we're gonna use, the same one we used the last time. This is the gun that we're using. So let me hold the gun up and Start spraying. Bring the first pass. You guys, so that's the first pass. It's barely missed. The second pass is gonna be a little bit heavier. The first coat on the on the bumper after the last time. It's been already like 45 minutes, an hour that it's been drying. Looks pretty, pretty even, but I'm gonna hit it one more time. It's been drying already for another 45 minutes. We start laying the first um, coat of clear. First coat of the uh, first coat of um here.
force coat will clear on the bumper. I'm done with the with the clear. Um, one thing I gotta say about the paint, about this particular brand, is that uh, it's really hard. They kind of did a. It's it's off a bit, man. I mean, I did a lot of coats trying to. Magic because the first coat it was still is still kind of white, so I did it the best I can, but still not 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 like paint scratch. Paint scratch is you know a perfect match. And then, um, if you go to the to their website, they, they say it's a hundred percent match. They match it a hundred percent. So after I tried them, they I can't. They match them pretty good, but this particular brand, they're off a bit. But I'm wet sanding the clear now. It's been already like, like a little bit more than an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. And buff it. Say so. Everything's dried up. I'm putting all the plastics back in place. Got the grill, the bottom grill, and this the fog light trim. So, here we are. What do you guys think about the paint? You think it matches pretty good? It does match, but in person, it's, it's you can see a, a bit of a difference. But let's say it's okay. Here's the front of the car. Here are all the, the front bumper. Got all my screws, the fasteners, and everything that came with it right here. So I'm putting everything back together. See you in a bit. Got one fog light installed. One more to go. This side. You see it's got four screws. One on each side. That holds on to the back of this. The trim and the bumper that I just installed. All right, I got the two fog lights. I'm gonna install this bottom. Piece, lip, or well, I don't know what that thing is called, but here it is. Go something like, like that. Um, but I'm not. Oh yeah, there's just little clips right there. You can see them. Uh, but I don't know. If there's another. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a hole right there. But I'm pretty sure that's for the bottom piece that's hanging down there I think we got two more other pieces like this one that one and this one that I need to oh actually I think that's the one that goes down there I'll figure it out right now first I said it was for the bumper but I found where this um, really goes and it goes right here right there yeah see how the holes match got the bottom um, lip installed all it takes is two of these screws that go back underneath 
right? I don't know if you guys can see it. No, you guys probably can't. But there's a hole. Oh, there we go. There. There's one on each side. That was, that's what's holding. Besides the clip, the this, this lip, this bottom lip. Okay, so now I'm gonna hook the wires, the connectors to the fog lights, to both fog lights, and got some clips. I gotta go by back here and underneath down there. So I'm gonna do that right now. But it's getting there, guys. And to connect the fog lights is as easy as doing this there we go our lights are connected i'm still having have this missing this train but i have that the garage so i won't be installing those today Before I continue, I almost forgot. I set the the bumper already there, but I'm I gotta put this this these um plastic underneath it. So let me do that right now. So I got the plastic already underneath. You can see it down there, and now this piece of trim goes on top. Something like that. Now I gotta use this, these clips to hold them down. So let me do that right now and I'll get back to you guys because I only have one hand when I'm using the camera, the phone. Okay guys, I don't know if you guys can still see, it's getting kind of dark, but here's the Kia. Here's the front bumper, I got out the grill, the fog lights installed, everything's nice and tight. Got the rear bumper also installed. Uh, I'm missing the little corner lights at the bottom. I have them from the old bumper. I installed the lower balance also. Um, the washing it right now. And What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. So that's it for today's guys. Got dark. Um, not completely finished with the car. Missing the little lights like I told you and a couple of other trims. And, but that'll be in some other day. Right now, got the grill going. Put some ribs right now and call it a day. So that's it guys. See you guys in the next video.